Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So today I am trying something different. Um, so I'm using my um, old canvas from Fluid Art, and I'm trying to embellish using Plaster of Paris. And this is my first time, I should admit, um, using Plaster of Paris. So I thought I should show you my mistakes and the corrections I'm trying to do. Um, so you don't make the same mistakes if you are also interested in uh, this art form. Well, honestly, this video is also for me, so I'll not make the same mistakes again in my second uh, piece. Um, I always go back and it's easy. Sometimes I don't want to just rely on my memory. What did I do? What did I not do? So it's better to record and go back and watch and sometimes when I'm watching I'm saying stop don't do that mistake <laughs> okay so I wanted to use plaster of Paris to bring 3d effects in my art um, and it is quite easy to work with um, but currently I'm trying to figure out the consistency and you will see what I mean um, so I will let you watch and I'll come back and show you where I made the mistakes and what I would do differently if I have to do uh, the same piece again. So I'll let you watch. Enjoy. So this is the first mistake that I made, that I lifted my uh, comb. Um, and then now I'm trying to figure out <laughs> where was that line. So I, sh whenever, this is what my feeling is, whenever we are working with a uh, plaster of Paris, um, it dries quickly. I'm still working on the consistency, what consistency I want, where it will not show um, any kind of uh, imperfection. Um, at this time, I used two part uh, of plaster of Paris and one part of uh, PVA glue. And then I added water to make the lumps go away and make it flowable through my cone. Um, but I guess I have to work how much water I add because at this time, as you can see, when I will be using a cone, think it is too thin and um, and I it, I want a little tad bit more thick than that here I am um, using I'm trying to figure out if it will give me straight line and still see it is flowing faster um, I, and I I made a very tiny cut in my cone um, so yeah I'm still working on that
let me bring you down here okay so this is still wet uh, but overall I like the look let me take you a little bit down I hope it will focus um, so this was the easiest part but it produced so beautiful results just using those um, foam things I don't know what they are called and just so at this time if I have to say something I would say I'm still working to figure out the consistency of this plaster of Paris but I, I really like the effect that we get from it all the 3d things and I'm trying to do not very tough art very easy that anybody can do it um, so so far it's not perfect I don't think this is perfect um, but this is the first piece um, I'm gonna wait till it dries and I'll show you again then so now it's completely dried and you can see uh, the details this is let me show you the stencil one first and then fishes And this is the final thing um, I think this piece was my first one <laughs> so experiment sort of but um, I think if I need this kind of fine uh, lines I think the consistency was absolutely good but for making fish I don't think the fishes were as beautiful as I want them to be so I think for that I have to have a little bit thicker consistency um, so this is what I got from this first experiment I plan to do another one so stay tuned if you like this thing or working with plaster of Paris um, I hope you like it um, thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time